What's going on YouTube family? How's everybody doing today? And welcome to another episode on my YouTube channel. And in today's episode, I decided to come to the US Open Fan Fest, and it's free, in 2024. So I'm walking the bridge so that you guys can know exactly what we are about to see here. But yeah, this is fan week and it's free. And I just want everybody to know that it's gonna be a great time here. And I hope everybody's gonna have a blast coming in here. So yeah, but it's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so cool. Now, last year in 2023, I don't know if you guys recall, but I used to work here. But I worked at the US Open for three years, three separate years. Uh, during the 2020 pandemic, then 2021, and then 2023. Okay? So, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy today's event. Um, and experience it with me and I want you guys to see what you like about the video and yo it's gonna be so much fun I'm telling you guys so the reason why I started all the way from the back where I first started was because I wanted you guys to see the banners and knowing a lot about the fan fest is so cool because people from all over the world they come and they check this shit out. It's a very good, fun experience type of event. You can also take the Long Island Railroad. You could drive here. You could take the seven train. This is where the bag checks normally goes to if you have a bag. So I want you guys to understand that this is where the bag checks have to be because they just check, you know, for anything, bomb threats or anything like that. That's the policy for the bags how are you I'm good <laughs> and so there might be some faces that I might bump into because I worked with them last year um, but I don't know if everybody's gonna be in it you know so the US Open says welcome yeah so Fan Fest is for one whole week and like I said it's free okay so I want you guys to know that. So you guys could, you know, come with your friends, families, your loved ones, or even by yourself, okay? And so this is where you see, it says ticket office hospitality, credential subscriber, um, US Open ticket holder. It tells you about the welcome to the US Open tennis championship. And you go through these metal detectors, which everybody got to go through. So, so I just want you guys to know that. So yes, so be prepared to get scanned. All right, guys, I'm gonna see you once I'm inside. All right, peace. All right, guys, so I'm finally in. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Represent 2024. <laughs> Not a tight picture, man. How are you? You missed the show yesterday. Oh, man. I wasn't going to come back. Oh, but I'm happy to see you guys, though. Me too. Take care. I'll see you in it later on. Yeah, there's going to be some faces I'm going to bump into that I, that I remember. And all that. This is one of my guys that I worked last year, too. You know, he knows he knows me as what's going on, my man. Yo, another year. Yo, man. I, I, it's good to see you guys again, bro. For real. So this is the ticket master where everybody buys the tickets. This is where you're gonna go get your shit um, when it starts uh, opening. So as I said, last year uh, I was here and I know I couldn't do, how's it going my brother? And I know last year I couldn't do the video because I was working here. But this year is a different year and there's my homie right there. You're gonna see her. So. I want you I, I want you guys to say what's up to everybody. They have a lot of homies. What's up man? How you been? Good, how are you? Good, good. And um 
This is the U.S. Open, the Chase Center, of course. As this is where they do the tournament stuff. So I'm gonna tell you guys a whole bunch of cool stuff that you can see. Last year they had a different statue that was right there, but now they have a different one uh, this year, right? This is where you actually take the pictures. This is where you actually see who's winning, like all that stuff. The clock is still there. They got the Radio American Express. Um, now, the cool thing about the fan, uh, the fan fest experience is you get to check out so many cool things, right? So, you see where it says U.S. Open American Express Fan Fest? I'm going to show you guys that right now. It's a very nice event, right? As you can see. So, the U.S. Open radio is on air. So, all fans, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. How are you? All right, so this is the experience, guys. Hi, how are you? So this is the experience over here, guys. Now, I know I know you guys who haven't been here before are probably wondering like, yo, what's this experience, right? Or what's it like, right? So, so, look at that. That's so cool. They get to, they get to play. This is something cool, guys. Look at that. Okay, there's something you can always experience, right? Now, if you guys ever been to the US Open before, drop your comments down below and let me know how your experience was. And if you've never been here before and it's your first time coming, right? You can always enjoy these experiences. These guys are playing some video games, as you can see. It's so cool, they have, the, they have that. They got the gaming, it's so cool. They got, I think it's for the PS5. It looks like for the PlayStation. So yeah, this is the experience, guys, that you see. Very cool, look at that. Look at that. How are you? How are you guys doing? So yeah. So, look at that. That's so cool. All right. Very nice experience over here. You get to sit on the couch. Nice vacation spot. And then over here, you see like the tennis court right here. Look at that, it's so cool. Look at that. Awesome experience, awesome experience. You can even charge your cell phones. That's awesome. Awesome. Got the garbage right over here. So then, so then you have the American Express. You have the, you could get you get to chill over here. It's like a cafe type of thing. Awesome spot, you know. Um, so I love going to these events. You know, these events are very cool. They're very very legit. That's awesome. Look at that, guys. Everybody's having a good time. Experience is so cool. It's a lot of people here. That's the info. That is so awesome. That's a big ass line here. Look at that. That was cool. All right, so yeah, that's one thing about the fanfare experience. Uh, now, this is, you see, that's the radio station. That's so cool. 
Look at the court. whole entire and, country. Uh, that, uh, red ball kind of mini oh, yeah, that's crazy. And just, you know, to think. Yeah, they got ATMs over here. So, yeah. And uh, you got the U.S. Open collection. Now, these are the stores. You got the stores over here. You got the food court. This is the charging, the charging um, place, which people, they charge their phones. So, this is the food court, guys. And I remember last year... I had some stadium food. Well, this is what I consider stadium food. It's all stadium food, just like any other stadium. So over here, people get to eat, they get to chill, they get to enjoy the weather. Most of the time, like you gotta understand every year, it's during the summer in August, and you'll see this, right? Very great experience, I love it. You know and then over here guys these are all the stores where you guys can actually check out if you want to buy anything they got the US Open Essentials so yeah this is a very fun event then you can go upstairs to the Louis Armstrong Stadium which is right there and then look, fan week. Now this is the essentials. So here people, they buy stuff. You know, they enjoy their, they wanna get cool items. They wanna see it, it's awesome. You know, so nice items they got. And then this is the spectacular weight as you can see like the people that they're so spectacular you know they're very cool you know these are famous people that play they play uh, tennis and they have won so awesome awesome people can take pictures awesome spot How are you today? All right, man. <laughs> Another year. And this is the fan, the cooling fans. It actually sprays like water, but it's so refreshing. Look at that. That shit is cool. So refreshing. Woo. So this is also like the, uh, the banquet bar for the hotels and resorts. So over here, you would see most of these people come here at nighttime. So they would come at nighttime. You would see a whole bunch of stuff, oh, and um, the TV will be on. So yeah. So this is this is something to enjoy. Look at that. So cool. All right. But you got to reserve, of course. You know, buy the tickets, reserve it. Awesome, awesome. You know. Then you got the homie Glenn that I haven't seen since last year. Let's go Mets. Hug Glenn, we got oh, hopefully. This year, no, not this year. Right. Not this year, but next year, hopefully. Glenn, I'll see you. So that was my supervisor. Um, hopefully next year in 2025, I can actually get to come and have a good time. This is another spot that you guys, you guys gotta check out. Um, it's really awesome. Then they always have somebody there's every single year, every single year, there's always this dude. He always comes and does the same thing, but different different types of vibes. I saw him last year here, and I worked with him when I was over here at the U.S. Open, and he's back again in 2024. I know it's not 2023 anymore, but he's, he's always here. You always catch him, so come on Fan Week, see this dude, take some pictures, take, check out his videos. The guy is awesome. I always used to tell him to come to my spot when I used to be on this side of the area and that side of the area 
And you know, this this motherfucker is the best. I, I fuck with him. That's why. And he's always gonna be here, guys. There's never gonna be a day that you're not gonna see him. Good to see you, bro. So yeah. So he's a cool dude. Um, so this is the Heineken spot. So the Heineken spot, um, you'll see that they have good food here. Um, you can always come in and just order your stuff. Nice place. They got some nice flowers, as you can see, guys. And then you have the lady with the stilts. That's crazy cool, right? Right? It's crazy cool. And then you have the gentleman with the stilts, uh, stilts also. Like I said, I worked here last year, and this year I didn't want to work it because I had other things to do. Uh, you know, I have to focus on my YouTube channel, and I also got to focus on other real life shit that I, you know, that I gotta take care of. Honestly, so yeah, I would have, I would have liked to work here this year, but then I wouldn't be able to do a video. So yeah, that would be the downside. Um, and so this is the cars right here as you can see guys they got some cool ass vehicles you could check out you gotta wait in line though you see the line is right over here so you always wait in the line and you're gonna see some nice experience nice vehicles every single year the vehicles they change so yes so if you want to wait in line and check out the vehicles feel free to do so it's an awesome awesome experience then you got the Evan, which is the water company and then they got the fan pass which is right here guys so if you want to check out now this is where they do like the music studios like they have like music and all the events that happens here now i remember that 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 right there used to be right here right last year but i guess they changed it around so now you got espn here uh sky news was always here you know you see a whole bunch of there's a lot of changes a lot of changes this year i'm not even gonna kid you there's a lot of changes here so but it's still almost the same the waterfall has always been here with uh everybody has always been hanging out how's it going how are you guys you know it's always been over here but this is so different this year so i like how it looks like this year it's very cool and what else so this is Arthur Ashe Stadium. I remember being here all the time last year when I was working. Um, it's actually, it was actually cool, a very good spot. Um, it was always busy during fan week, but it was mostly busy, busy when, when the events were here. Like, you know, everybody was uh, partaking in the events, uh, matches, sometimes, sometimes it lasted a very long time. And then you got Captain America over here. I don't know if, it, if he's either Captain America, the Winter Soldier, or the evil Captain America. It's all three versions of them. Okay. Then um, I'm going to show you that in a few. So here you have the Tequila Club, right? So the Tequila Club, they have a lot that goes on in there. Awesome shit, you know? Um, but yeah, you gotta check it out. And then they got the store. Now the store here is so legit. I'm not even gonna kid you. All right. Like I said, I told you guys I was gonna bring you guys here this year so you guys can actually see it. Um, so you can see how the US Open experience is. It's a lot of people here, bro. A lot of motherfucking people come here. I'm telling you, it does get packed here. You know, then they have practice matches. You know, they have practice matches over here. Um, let me see what else they have. So yeah, and then over here, how are you? So, and then over here in the back is where most of the celebrities be coming. So you see that gate that's over there? The celebrities be coming over here. This is one of my guys that I worked with last year as well. And, you know, and they know that, you know, I know this area very well because I worked with them. I worked with a lot of people. They all know I'm a Mets fan. 
because that's all I spoke about last year about the Mets because they you know they got to do fucking better this year um, so so then you'll see over here a vehicle now this car there's always there's always vehicles in the back on this side right so the vehicles changes every year but this year you got something different this is a Cadillac as you can see very awesome car and all that so yeah so it's it's awesome look at that so yeah so the celebrities be coming through back here this is where they be they be coming when that when the matches come so yeah technically when you'll see when you see a lot of matches they'll be coming from that garage right here and they go right inside there okay so just giving you guys a heads up all right how are you so yeah the practice matches are here so a lot of people uh, during fan fest they come here they check out the the practices it's awesome here you guys can get to chill sit down um, and see the game whatever game you guys are into whoever your celebrity is that you like to watch you'll see them a lot here especially up here as well so yeah you'll see a whole bunch of people coming here and you know I'm giving you guys a lot of details this is the hallway of the spot. So I remember walking this side when I was working here. Um, you will see a whole bunch of a whole bunch of cool stuff here. So this part right here, guys, this is where most of the people who you'll see them play, you'll see them come in, you'll see them work here. This is this is a fun experience, guys. So just that alone, I'm telling you, this is this is something where a lot of people they come in and they hang out. So yeah, and if you want to stay away from the sun, this is the best spot to go to, you know. So I'm just giving you guys a whole bunch of detail. Most I remember last year we would huddle like this in places uh, where there was not the sun, and I remember that as well. Good experience, but sometimes you need to have a hiding spot, so you got to stay away from the sun, you know. So yeah, um, so yeah, and then you could go upstairs. When you go upstairs, guys, you'll see that you'll be up on the top, right? To see these matches that's happening right now, right? So, so yeah, it's very cool, very cool over here. And then you got the people that's watching this. So like, when you see the matches here, they got some cool stuff that you could see that goes on. So a lot of fans come here, guys. So every year is, is technically different. So. But it's mostly the same. So yeah, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff like this. All right, so I wanted to show you guys that. You see this? So this is something oh, cool. And then there's always a counter over here. He's always here. 15 luck. You know. Awesome experience, guys. Jeez. So yeah, so it's a good experience. You get to sit down and watch the games, you know. Um, now, I remember about, what is it, two years ago? I remember there, they, this used to be like a hideout where most of the comrades, by the way, that's where the trash can is at. That's the back. That's where the trash goes and all that other stuff. Um, I used to hide over here sometimes when I wanted to get some shades. So this is where a lot of people, they come and they get to sit down. Most of the time, you'll see mostly the workers that work here. So yeah, so, but the, they, this hasn't opened yet. So eventually it's going to open when it starts. So you'll see the Grey Goose um, opening spot pretty soon. So yeah, very good spot. Um, and then that's the back if you want to go to see that other side. So like, let me show you. So I just want you guys to see how the Arthur Ashe Stadium looks like. And you see, it hasn't, you know, you'll see more, see like, this would be packed, okay? 
So you see that, right? This will be fucking packed most of the time, okay? So yeah, you see that? Right now it's not packed because, you know, it's, uh, it's just fan week, so you won't see much. But yeah, you'll see, you'll see that happening. So I wanted to show you guys that. So let's continue. I hope you guys are liking it so far. I hope, I hope, I'm hoping that I'm giving you guys a lot of details. So whenever you guys do want to come and get tickets or if you want to come during fan week or if you're visiting New York at a good time to come uh, during fan week, <coughs> it's in Flushing. So like I said, you could take the 7 train to get here. You could take the Long Island Railroad. You could drive. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. You can even walk it. I mean, it's not far from my house because uh, I, I like to walk. So... So yeah, and then you have another vehicle, which is another Cadillac. Okay. And then this is where they take pictures. They take some, you know, they get they get information with stuff, which is great. You know, then you can also see other things right here, like sunscreen. Yeah, and then, and then uh, what else they have here? Oh yeah, look, this is another spot that you could go watch a tennis game if you want to. And then you have the Chubb. So, okay, you got the arena, in the arena, Serena Williams, as you can see. So yeah, it gets packed here. I'm telling you guys, it really does get packed. You know, and so this is what I like about the U.S. Open. Now, getting back to what I told you, remember I was here. I went the other side. Remember I was at the other side and I went around. See, so yeah, so this is like this is the spot. I I, I consider it like a garden. The reason why I call it like the garden is because this is the spot where you're gonna see a whole bunch of cool stuff here on top of that this is where everybody gets to chill they get to eat they see different types of stadium food that's here so yes yes it's it's like a garden to me um and it's so cool cool experience now now i'm going to show you something else guys so this, these are plaques. Now these are the plaques where a lot of people who used to play tennis would come over here. Oh, and by the way, you have the, you got another sunscreen spot right here, just like the one over there. It's the same thing. So yeah, you'll see them here if you can't go over there. So yes, so these are plaques, right? So these plaques right here, you'll see the famous people that used to play the, you know, tennis here at the US Open um, in Flushing, Queens, right? Corona, Queens, whatever you want to call it, you know? And, but it's in Queens. And you'll see a lot, a lot of famous people here that played. On these five hits to three percent. Now I'm giving you guys a lot of down details, like rundown details because this is, this is awesome, you know? So they got a court of champions. So, and as you can see, the Flushing Meadow Park world. You know, you can go to the security staff right here. As you can see, security staff is right here, right? And then you can walk through this side and, hey, what's up? And uh, I like how people, they say hi. It's so cool, you know. Uh, and I hope you guys are enjoying this video. And then over here, guys, this tells you, like, the chart, the U.S. Open chart. So, yeah. They got the men's. They got the women's champions. They got the men and women's single champion. Look at that. This, oh, these are plaques that you guys are going to check out. And if you want, take photos of it. Amazing, amazing. Look at that. <clears throat> All 
right? And then you got the statue that's in the middle. Now, normally, you could you're able to walk, right, around that grass. But since this year they kind of changed it, you know, they kind of changed this area because it was you were able to walk around and go around like this. But because, like I said, they got that going on, so it's a big change. What else? What else? What else we have here? So yeah, people get to eat over here. They get to chill. Okay. You know, it's awesome. I like how they made um, this as like, that's so cool. Look at that. I turned that into, uh, wow, that's awesome. That's so cool. That's so cool. Awesome, awesome. Tiffany and Cole. And then this is the line for all sorts of stuff here that you can see. Emirates, which is the, it's a plane, you know, uh, airline name. That's the, that's how the Emirates uh, people look like, as you can see. You know, it looks like one of those, like, remember Aladdin back in the day, the game Aladdin for the sake of Genesis? Like that, you know, it was, it was pretty much like that, you know? So, so yeah, so then you got the big tennis balls right over here, guys. And then you got the t-shirts, you got the sneakers. Yep, and then that's awesome. You know, that's pretty cool. And then also, as you're walking, you, you'll see you'll see a whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, there's more games, as you can see right over here. So there's a lot of spots that you could go to see a game. Uh, I like how they got the U.S. Open 2024, and this looks like a this looks like a station. You know, like I don't know which train go. They should have put the seven train. Or the, and the Long Island Road right underneath it, I think that would have been even better and that would be a, a station, but yeah. But it looks so cool. Uh, US Open. And then, as she said, you could win some tickets if you guys join, you know, like she said. And then they got the selfie station where you could actually check out your selfies. How's it going, buddy? Very, very nice spot. Then you got the USTA membership, which you come over here. If you want to be a member, join the community, become a USTA member today. There's those cooling fans again. Oh man, they're amazing. They're amazing. Those cooling fans are amazing. So yeah, Fan Week is so cool, guys. I remember I had ice cream here last year. Yo, the ice cream here is so fucking good, bro. I'm not even gonna kid you. Yo, I'm telling you. I had I had the ice cream here, and they, they opened like later on, and I used to work with him last year too. How are you, man? Good seeing you. So I told you, I'm gonna bump into some people that I worked with last year. Um, like I said, um, they didn't have me work this year because, you know, you got to work full time. And the thing is, is that I already have a full time job and I was trying to at least work part time. But yeah, I'm just giving you guys a heads up right now. They don't do part time work here. It's full time. Um, I remember I worked um, three whole weeks. But let me tell you, I busted my ass here, man. Like every fucking day I would be here and. I would be working so many hours, but it, but it, it's okay. You know, it's it's what it is. You know, you gotta you gotta hustle in life. You know, that's part of the that's part of our journey. You know what I mean? Again, we're back at the food court. 
Now you see the full court. Remember, I walked on the other side. Now I'm here. Um, this is the food court over here. I remember eating the prime burger here last year. This was really delicious. I'm not even gonna kid you. But they're fucking expensive, you know. But but like I said, this is these are um, the stadium food that they have. It's very good. I mean, depending depending what you like. But I have no problem with any of them. Actually, I try them. You know, I had a, uh, I heard a lot of good things about them. Um, so yeah, the Korean chicken was the shit. I love it. You know, they got the you know the fish spot. So yeah, good good spots. If you want to come here and eat, you know, that's where the that's where they have uh, the cafeteria in the back over there. How are you? You know. Um, that's the ice cream. So that ice cream was the one I was telling you about. So yeah, so it's it's cool stuff. Cool, awesome stuff over here. So yeah. Now, do I miss working at the U.S. Open? Absolutely, I did. Because here's the thing: I had a great time working here. Uh, I met a lot of cool people. Uh, some of the people that I work with that that, I, that are still cool with me to this day, um, they actually are, you know, friend. We're friends at, on social media. Also, um, some of them have subscribed to my YouTube channel and have supported me till since then, which is great. You know, you get to you get to meet a lot of cool people. So yeah, so you guys saw that. So yeah, an amazing, amazing spot to go to. You guys get to check out. Um, now, like I said, if you want to get something to eat here or whatever, it's expensive, but get, be prepared to break your pockets. Um, and you got somebody jiggling. That's pretty cool, as you can see. That's awesome. That's really cool. You see, yeah, you'll see that a lot. Oh, there you go. He, look, at, he, look how talented this guy, this guy is. Look at that. Thank you. So, yeah. Yeah, guys. So, it's it's fun. You know, uh, I remember also to get my credentials. You know, I... I <laughs> it's another dude that I used to work with last year as well. What's going Good on, my brother? You. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just here to just check it out. See how you guys are doing. So yeah, I used to work with him too. Man, I'm telling you, welcome me back with open arms is pretty dope, man. You know, uh, this is where I, I I would get my credentials. So yeah, last year my credentials would be right in there, but you need to have access to have those credentials and all that. So yes, uh, yeah, and then also you got the guest info right over here that used to be like the coffee shop now as you can see uh, over here guys I want to show you this is the this is the garage the garage is back there so yes that's where you see the garage if you want to park your car so yeah guys this is fan week fan week guys it is beautiful outside today you get to see a whole bunch of cool stuff and then you have the grill the East Plaza grill I would always get my coffee there my sandwiches there if I was hungry in the morning yes this is it guys this is fan week and I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, so much stuff to see here um, yeah it's it's very cool I mean like I said guys great experience um, you could come here, take so many selfies, memories. Fan week is one whole entire week. So I just want you guys to understand that it's one whole week of fan week, okay? This is something that, you know, you get to experience. Um, they even have, like, see, they have the plaque right here as well. Uh, I'm going to show you that too. Avenue of the Aces, you see what I'm saying? And then you'll see, like, names. You know cool names like if it was like in Hollywood right and you'll see that 
okay? So like, follow the, it's not the yellow brick road, but the fan road, okay? So as you can see, I'm following the road. They got the Billy Jean, US Open champion. So yeah, let's follow the bricks, as you can see. Very cool, very cool. This is something to remember, guys. Yep. Something to remember. You guys will definitely like it. They got a lot of plaques. Look at that. I'm just doing, I'm just swerving so you guys can see. Woo! Yeah. That's awesome, guys. That's so awesome to see. Yeah, guys, so great experience, guys. You could go anywhere here during Fan Week. I want you guys to come and check it out because this is something that you're always going to enjoy, to see, to have fun, to experience. You know, that gate is to go upstairs, as you can see. Yep, yep. I'm telling you guys, Good vibes here, guys. Good vibes. Come to the U.S. Open and just enjoy. Have a fun time here. You know, stand, spend the whole day here, guys. I'm telling you. You should. You know. And that's if you're into tennis. You know, if you're into tennis and this is your type of sport and you feel like this is the spot to be, to enjoy and have fun and experience and just memories and just whatever whatever it is you guys have to come okay this happens every year uh, this happens in August okay all the way throughout September okay and people just they vibe here they vibe they have a good time it's one of the biggest events here in New York City um, it's something that, you know, if you're like a Mets fan like me, you can always go to City Field, which is right across the U.S. Open um, as well. Now, if you guys, like I, like I said in the, from the beginning, if you guys had great experiences here back then at the U.S. Open and enjoyed it, please drop your comments down below and let me know what your thoughts were about having a good time here at the US Open. If this is your first rodeo coming over here and, and, and you're enjoying it, you know, let me know if how you experienced it, how you enjoyed it and all that other cool stuff. And if you guys never been here before, then I highly suggest that you come to New York City, get your experiences, and just have a blast have a good time you know just come in here and just you know do what you got to do and enjoy it embrace it have fun with it you know i highly recommend it great spot it's huge it's good for everybody you guys will enjoy it and as i always say guys if you like what you see and you're interested in joining the exclusive family discord group channel you already know i'm going to put the link in the description below that being said, guys, you know who I be. They call me Your Mills Got Skills. They call me Nomad Patriot. They call me The Slider. Team YGE versus Team, uh, <clears throat> team YGE versus Team Slider on the Team Duncan Productions. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks again for watching, guys. I love you. Thanks again for the support. You guys are the best. Thank you for everything, guys. And I'll see you guys soon. May God bless you all. And take care.